McCollum. It's been the, the summer of CJ on social media. He has dominated the social media scene. And what he said on a recent t TV interview overseas has, has gone viral. Maybe in the future, the Warriors would become a team that everybody, when, when he becomes free, you just want to join them and get a champion and mm, then, yeah. you know, go everything, to another everything. team. Everything. People, people have that kind of thoughts. What do you think? I would never do anything of that nature. No? Yeah, I mm. think that is disgusting. You don't like it? No. So, it's uh -huh. disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. I heard it. Yeah, so, True. so is that mean that, that you would never do that? I'm not built like those guys. I'm, I was raised differently. But do you think that would be the future no. for NBA? I think some players will take that 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 route, mm. but most guys have too much pride. Um, want to really win on their own or in their certain organizations and aren't going to just jump the bandwagon. Well, disgusting. Huh? He's also said it's soft talked about being weak to go to a super team. Well, C.J. McCollum, you know, uh, and the Blazers, whether Kevin Durant was on the Warriors or whether he said stayed in Oklahoma City, had nothing to do with them being swept in the first round of the playoffs this past year by the Pelicans, right? So there were people out there questioning C.J. for this, but but he's he's doubled down. He said it's disgusting. Is it a bit dangerous because at some point in C.J. McCollum's career, he's going to become a free agent, he's going to have the opportunity to go elsewhere, or maybe maybe the Blazers will have a chance to bring somebody you know, in? No, because of now, all the TV and stuff, we'll be able to replay a lot of these different right. things. But I, I think for C.J., and um, obviously he can have his opinion, I think where it starts to get touchy is if you had a chance to get DeMarcus Cousins this summer or LeBron James, right. and they – happen to choose Portland and you add two or three games, you become a super team. Right. Even though you didn't jump ship, but if you're lobbying for guys to come, I'm not saying he has been, right. but if you do, then it'd be starting. Oh, he has. Out. He has? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. But, but I think they're qualifying it by saying, well, Kevin Durant joined a team that won 73 right. games. But it's always easy to qualify when it's not about you, right? But CJ did a little more on the internet, right? A little more. I'm trying, Jennifer! Get yeah, me the T-shirt. I, 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 I like Jennifer calling him out. She said win a playoff game. I mean, they have, but they haven't won a series at all. They've been swept. But I, I think for CJ and Dame Lillard, they have to find a way, the way the West is going, because they can find themselves out of the playoff conversation with the way Denver's right. starting to play, Utah, Minnesota, and now the Lakers. There's four teams right there. Then you say OKC, San Antonio, Houston, and Golden State. It's going to be fun out in the West. Right. I can't wait to see the – the Golden State and Portland game. Right. The last two years, they've been swept out of the playoffs in the first round. A couple of years ago, benefited from some injuries by the Clippers, certainly. But, but man, oh, man. I mean, it, it's unbelievable. I'm trying, Jennifer. Is that maybe the social media moment of the summer? I, I think so. I, you know what? I'm a C.J. McCollum's fan. I mean, I, I like what he said. He's just got to stay and keep his word. And throughout his career, don't be joining anybody, C.J., because right. we're going to be back here talking about you right, right here on his desk. And you want people doing your podcast, right? And you don't want oh, saying. I did your blanking podcast, right? He does a good uh, job with it. Let's take a look. Not, not he according does. to Durant, but he does a good job. <laughs> I don't think Durant will be back in anytime <laughs> soon. Jayla Brown, maybe.